on the cross overnight on the third first night when the prophecy was coming god said something about the economy of this country and this economy is something that i the major prophet of god i'm concerned about it because i know that the economy of this country is also uh, in a way that we need what's called prophetic remedy and when it comes to prophetic remedy before remedy can come it has to do with people understanding what is really happening and what is coming so the people can be able to prepare themselves and pray and stand and seek for remedy because if you don't pray stand and seek for remedy remedy will not come because i told you i said people are saying how is the dollar going to be this year is the dollar coming down and i told you that the dollar is going to two thousand this year it's going to 2000 the reason for that is not because uh, uh, maybe uh, maybe the people are not working hard or one thing or the other but a lot of things have gone wrong in the fabric a lot of things have gone wrong spiritually a lot of things have gone wrong in such a way that uh, before these things can be corrected it will require what was called emancipation and so many things will be done because uh, if these things are not done the dollar can never come down because I'm seeing where people are crucifying their naira and seeking dollars. I'm seeing where people are doing everything possible to now crucify their naira. And I ask them where are they crucifying their naira? They say that they want to use this naira and secure dollar. How can people in a country using dollar to secure naira or using naira to secure dollar? When you are using naira to secure dollar, you are killing naira and you are securing dollar. And this is the problem we are having here. And the God has revealed this to the major prophet of God to reveal it to the people so that people all over the country can be able to know what's happening in Nigeria and be able to stand and pray and seek the face of God. Because when we pray and seek the face of God, God will shine the light and we will see the light and be able to do the right thing that we need to do. Because when you cannot see the light, that's where the problem is coming from. So we pray right now that we can see the light and also be able to now follow the light to walk out of darkness because uh, darkness is where people are unaware when people are ignorant when people cannot see when people don't know the handwriting on the wall it becomes darkness because what you don't know is like darkness to you and because it's like darkness to you it can make you to stumble it can make you to fall it can make you to fall into the pit but what you know it becomes a light to you and because of the light you can walk away from any situation or whatever it is because i'm seeing where people are doing everything possible to use naira to secure dollar and when naira continue to secure dollar that means naira will go on extinct and naira will crash naira will die naira will be punished and naira will come to extreme end and that makes dollar to now robust and robust and robust and what's the mean of that the mean of that is that more papers are going to be printed from the united states of america and will be sent to nigeria and nigeria will now use all the labels and the oil and everything they've gotten through naira to pursue the dollar and at the end the dollar continues I told you year two years ago how the dollar is going to climb up in Nigeria and how Naira is going to now go the problems that Naira is having now. And I told you that this is going to continue this year. And you already seen it. Naira now is clocking one five and the pounds is at the rate of 1,900 per pounds. And it is not ending there. The reason the major prophet of God is giving you the prophetic is because it's not ending there. These are things that will continue to happen until something drastically is done about it and the spiritual awakening is done and the people in authority knows what's called the right thing to do. Then they can be able to have a way to, excuse me, work out of this very inevitable crash down of Naira. Because the Naira is going to have a lot of persecution. Because the persecution is that many people are going to now say, okay, it is impossible for them to now do businesses. And they now begin to go to what's called a, 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 kind, of, a kind of selling their stakes. And people are going, companies are going to move out. And so many companies are going to be handed over to indigenous 
indigenous people. And when this is handed over to indigenous people, management will be the problem. Because I'm seeing what's called, what's called empty air set to leave the country completely and handed over to, to what's called the, the, the citizens of the country or indigenous people of the country. And the management will now be the issue. And not only that, so many other remaining companies are going to now begin to seek for what's called the window or back doors on where they are going to repatriate their very money to leave the country. And this is not a good thing for the country. We must pray the prayer and do whatever is needful to see a way forward. And when we see a way forward, that alone can help us to find a solution and also see what we can do to remedy the situation. Because as a prophet of God, what God shows the prophet is for the prophet to see and also say it to the people and the people that need to do what they need to do will start doing what they need to do. Because a lot of things are happening in the spiritual world. The prosperity of a country, the prosperity of a nation, the prosperity of a people lies on the awareness of people who are in charge, knowing that this is what needs to be done and this is what needed to be done. This is what the step needed to be taken and this is the step that is needed not to be taken. Because I am seeing from now to the month of March, I'm seeing what's called the dollar now hitting above one five and going straight to two thousand i don't know why this is about to happen and the pounds will cross two thousand and continue to go up but we need to as quick as possible and do something have you seen where a pounds will now climb back and you begin to see a pound going to two thousand five and three thousand naira per one pounds this is not a good thing. This is not the will of God. We must do everything possible to now begin to take the bold steps and begin to pray for the country Nigeria. We must all, by all means, in this country, pray against what's called this, what's called this, what's called this, what's called what's called a crisis. Crisis. We must pray against what's called a crisis because this crisis will emanate from hunger. This crisis will emanate from people pushed to the wall. This crisis will emanate from people jumping up and saying they can't take it anymore. And people will now begin to cry and cry out of the street. We need to pray and ask God that the wisdom be given to people who are in charge to now begin to do the right thing and know what is good and do what is good. When we do what is good, we have solution. When we do what is good, everything now begins to work out. But when we cannot know what to do, it's a very big problem. We don't want a problem. What we want is solution. What we want is the right thing to be done and uh, there can be a way forward for the right thing that needed to be done to be done for people to be free. And the Lord now begins to take the major prophet of God because in the realm of the spirit, God takes the major prophet of God to show me things that will happen. I am seeing what's called American election heating up and heating up and heating up and heating up and i'm seeing what's called this was called joe biden heating up on his own side but i'm seeing donald trump coming with what's called full force this was called donald trump coming with what's called full force and i begin to ask what is this all about and the lord said the matter and the things are revealed to you is what is about to happen and i'm seeing a lot of people now backing up Donald Trump because they are believing that Donald Trump will be like a man that will be like a messianic helper to them because America and the wars that the Lord has revealed to me especially the one that is already happening now that God revealed to me on the 31st night that America will go into war this year and that was in January 1st of January crossover night from the 31st of 2023 31st December to 1st of January the Lord revealed this and this war War is not going to end in one side and more of wars are coming up and God want to now help the country I don't know how the Lord want to do it but the country now will begin to look for what's called alternative and this is what the Lord has revealed to major prophet of God concerning Donald Trump that Donald Trump are going to have what's called more people coming out to, 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 to adopt him more people coming out to identify with him more people coming out to accept him and more people coming out to now side on his own side and what is the meaning of this side and what is the meaning of this adoption what's the meaning of these people coming out in a bigger and a mass and all of that the meaning of that is that 
more people are going to now join his own campaign team to see how they now promote him and how they are going to completely restore him as to become a president again in America because these are the revelations that have been shown now. But the Lord have always revealed to major prophet of God things to be done and what needed to be done because major prophet of God I cannot begin to speak on my own. I will always speak when the Lord has given me revelations and things to prophesy and I will come out to prophesy according to the world class and the world standard of what's happening all over the world. But I'm seeing what's called America America must pray very well because the, 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 the issue and the revelation I give to America concerning how America is going to go war this year has already started. But they must pray against what's called people taking the war into their own country that may result to affecting their election. We must pray for America and America must also pray for everything possible to stop people from what I'm seeing cooking in the spiritual realm so that the spiritual realm can be able to be arrested arrested because when spiritual realm is arrested the physical realm will also be calm and the lord took me a straight away to now come to what's called domestic politics of the country because i began to say what's called domestic politics of the country don't forget that every time the major prophet of god has what it takes to see the realm of the spirit remember last year before the handover i told you that i see we are Lagos State will become another place of governance. That I see where the, the government will move some of their parastatals right here to now lead or to now be uh, uh, to govern the Nigeria state from Lagos State. And I'm seeing Lagos State also becoming another place where the, everything is going to be happening. But this is also going to take a full force because I'm seeing what's called what's called a turbulence in Abuja that will make what's called the Abuja and the place of Abuja uncomfortable for the president and he will want to now stay in Lagos to now lead the country from Lagos state. And we must pray that God should take control of Abuja because what is happening in Abuja and the realm of the spirit will make a lot of government bodies and all of that to relocate to Lagos. But I begin to ask myself in the realm of the spirit, does it mean that Lagos is safe or what is going to happen there? And I'm seeing that Lagos become a difficult place where the people who are troubling Abuja find it difficult to penetrate because a lot of international people, like I told you on the cross of the night, I prophesied the prophecy here. Here, they are going to enter the country by all means. I gave you the prophecy, and you saw them, and you saw all the things that are prophesied happening. And I'm seeing what's called it, the power, the seat of power being dominant in Lagos. Seat of power, seat of power being dominant in Lagos, where you're going to have many other prostitutes, federal prostitutes moved out of Abuja to Lagos State because Lagos State is going to receive what's called a, what's called a mega mega city and may also end up and from this ten or going on there may be this is what I'm seeing but it's still in the under probability and the federal capital territory moved from Abuja to Lagos State I begin to ask myself what's the meaning of this what's the meaning of this this is what the Lord has revealed to me over six months ago and I prophesied it here. But in the realm of the spirit is now taking another shape. As the Lord began to take major prophet of God to show me deeper things in the spirit realm. And this is an issue that everybody and the country must, you know, watch over it and pray over it. Because uh, most times when major prophet of God is giving the prophecies as he touches the world, as he touches the country, as he touches everybody and things that are going to happen different places of the world, a lot of people will not accept it. A lot of people will not understand it. A lot of people will even go as far as opposing it. But they will not understand that as the spirit lead the prophet, so the prophet prophesy. And that's why they sang a song all over the world the spirit is moving all over the world there's a mighty revelation all over the world there's a mighty revelation to the glory of the Lord as the water over the sea 